How risky is the position you're taking? How much price fluctuation do you expect to see in the future? To answer these questions, look no further than the beta volatility metric. Beta is a fundamental metric used to measure the volatility of a security or portfolio compared to the market as a whole. The beta of a stock can give a good approximation of how much risk the stock will add to your portfolio. Here are some of the fundamental metrics from Avi Incorporated. These are from Yahoo Finance. You can see Avi currently has a share price of $105 and that beta volatility is 0.81. You can really break the beta volatility metric down into four different benchmarks. A beta value of 1 indicates that the share price is strongly correlated with the market and adding the stock to your portfolio doesn't add any risk, but it also does not increase the likelihood to provide excess returns because that share price is less volatile. If you come across a stock with a beta value less than 1, similar to AbbVie which we just looked at, then the security is theoretically less volatile than the overall market it's considered in. Including this stock in your portfolio lowers the risk factor a bit. And a good example of many of these stocks with lower beta volatilities are utilities stocks as they are in a much more stable sector which it will always be necessary. The third benchmark value we have to consider is beta volatilities greater than 1. This means that the share price of the stock is more volatile than the overall market. If a stock has a beta value of 1.4, then their share price is assumed to be 40% more volatile than the market. Stocks with these higher beta values are more volatile and they're often in the technology sector or their small cap companies, but they can also offer the opportunity for greater expected returns in the future. The fourth thing you can use the beta volatility to tell, and this is also the fourth benchmark, is if the beta volatility value is negative, then that helps investors understand that the stock is moving in the opposite direction as the overall market. A negative beta, for instance, would mean as the market is increasing, then the share price of said stock is decreasing. An example of this would be like Safehold Incorporated, stock ticker SAFE, currently trading at $83.71 with a beta volatility of negative 0.44. For the beta to provide any useful insight, the market that is used as a benchmark should be related to the stock. If you were looking at the beta volatility of a bond ETF, then you would not compare it against the volatility of the S&P 500. When we looked at ABBV earlier and they had that positive beta volatility of 0.81, we know that that's compared against the S&P 500 index because they are included in said index. Here is the one year stock chart for ABV. Their share price is represented by the candles and that blue line represents the SPY fund which tracks the S&P 500. You can see right here as the SPY fund was increasing in this section, so was the share price of AbbVie. Because AbbVie's beta volatility is a little lower than 1 at 0.81, when the market increases, it means that AbbVie's share price increases at a slightly lower percentage. This is good as they can make a portfolio a little inherently less risky. And if you're intrigued by that one year chart of AbbVie, I encourage you to check out my stock analysis on them, which I'll throw in the description as well as up on the screen. If you enjoyed this segment of Fundamental Fridays, where we look at a separate fundamental metric each week, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Don't forget to check back next week to further your fundamental analysis abilities. As always, I'm Patrick Zimmerman. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.